Hi everyone, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. I'm going to be making lemongrass kiwi cassis soap. And I'm going to be making it with pot of gold, this yellow from Mad Oils. I have Lounge Lizard from Mad Oils, and I'm using Tangerine Dream from Mad Oils. And the fragrance is from Nature's Garden. And I'm using my Tall and Skinny Nurture Soap Mold. And I'm going to try to do a feather swirl in it. And I bent my hanger tool to fit the mold. And I put a straw on the bottom of it, hoping that it would make for a th uh, thicker, you know, when I go down in instead of the skinny wire and not making much of a difference. I wanted it a little bit thicker, so I put a straw on it for that. So let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> this is my fourth soap tonight, so I'm getting where I'm ready to get cleaned up and be done.
Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, it is the next day and I am going to cut lemongrass kiwi cassis. And this is what it ended up like. Um, I left it in the freezer. I forgot about it. So it's been in the freezer for like, I don't know, all afternoon. So I'm hoping I can cut through it okay. But I tried to do like a feather swirl in here. So I have no idea if it worked or not. But I'm going to give it a shot. It smells really good. I like this fragrance a lot. Yeah, it's really hard. Oh, whoa. Zoom out. I don't know if it's a feather. It more looks like a flower. See, it looks like leaves, and it looks like a flower opening. <gasps> I love it. I didn't mean it, but I love it. Yes, I did mean it. I did mean to, to do that. No, I'm just kidding. I really didn't. Well, at least I had a couple of good soaps from last night. I made four, I think. And one of them pretty much seized on me. I knew it was going to accelerate um, as a floral scent. And I couldn't do at all what I wanted to do. So it didn't turn out good. And then another one, I hand painted some mica on, and it didn't turn out like I was envisioning either. So, um, it's okay though. This one turned out good. I like it. Yay! I almost didn't make this one last night. I almost just gave up and said, forget it. I'm not having a good soaping night. And I ended up doing it. Oh, that one's cool. It totally looks like a flower with the the petals. Or, I mean, the, the leaves and then the petals. Yay! I don't normally put my soap in the freezer, but sometimes with the tall and skinny, I feel like I have to because even if the soap is really hard, it doesn't seem to want to come out without damaging the ends of it for some reason, but um, I do recommend putting them in the freezer if you have that issue. Um, I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot. I think it's it looked almost freezer burnt on the top. Now I'm sure it'll be fine, but um, I do recommend that if you're having trouble getting a soap out, just stick it in the freezer for a little while. And my cutter seems to go through it fine, so I just ran a couple errands. I'm on my way home, and yes, I have my air conditioner on in December at 8 o'clock at night in Myrtle Beach because it is almost 70 today, and tomorrow night is Christmas, or almost 80. Tomorrow will be 80, and tomorrow night is Christmas Eve. So it is not at all cool, but I had my air conditioner on and my daughter was with me, my older daughter, and all of a sudden it started making this horrendous loud noise. And at first I didn't know what it was, and then I pulled in the driveway, we were almost, we were pulling in our neighborhood at the time, and I was making, recording it so I could send it to my husband and let him, you know, hear it or whatever. And I realized when I was playing with the air conditioner that is when it would go, if I turned it up, it would go up. If I turned it down, it would go down the noise. And if I turned it off, it would stop. So I've got an issue with my air conditioner. Um, so thank goodness my truck, my, my vehicle is under warranty and I can take it and they can fix it and it's always great to not get a bill. Let me show you these really quick. This is the one that kind of seized on me. Um, I had this square brambleberry mold that I got in the mail yesterday 
and I wanted to use it so I made a recipe and my goal was to just use this peacock blue and white and a little bit of um, green in there and then I was going to pipe a flower on the top. Well by the time I got to piping the flower it had just like started to rice and it was a mess. So I just smeared it on there. I'll probably end up using my um, uh, planer and just plane the top off. So yeah, that was that one. And I did video it because it was going to be a great video if the piping turned out, but it didn't. So anyways, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.